Hi everyone, welcome to our new video tutorial. Today we want to introduce you with Amelia 4.2. Um, the newest version of Amelia is live and we added some integrations. Uh, today we would like to uh, present you how you can use Amelia with Lesson Space. Uh, Lesson Space is a famous tool for video conferencing. It is used for uh, virtual classrooms as well and online tutoring. So we know that many of our users are already using it. Now they can integrate Amelia directly with Lesson Space and uh, Alexander will show us how to do so. Thank you. Okay, um, when you go to Lesson Space uh, website, if you don't have an account, just sign up. It's pretty simple. Name, email, password, uh, what describes your organization, and how many hours of tutoring does your organization do. So that's basically it. So uh, if you have an account, just log in and when you do log in go to settings and developer the only thing you have there is the api key so you need to copy that and paste it in amelia's settings under integrations lesson space which is over here so just paste it right there mm -hmm. in here you can add the appointment space name so at the moment and by default it's set to reservation name these are placeholders which you can copy from here um, and you can enable the spaces for pending appointments mm -hmm. when you do that and you save it you need to go to services and actually enable uh, the lesson space integration for your services so for so example, it can be enabled for any particular service. You don't need to have it for all, yes. but just for those you want. That's correct. So if you go to settings, it's uh, disabled mm -hmm. by default. So we enable that and save it. And now when you go to the website and actually book an appointment, it will be registered in a uh, lesson space. So we go to um, booking and actually book a service. For example, basic annual. You choose the date, you choose the time. So confirm. And when the booking is confirmed, mm -hmm. you can go to uh, lesson space and under spaces, you'll actually mm -hmm. see that this uh, space has been created. Mm -hmm. So there you go. You allow uh, the website to use microphone mm -hmm. and camera to start the actual um, conference. And this link will be emailed to your customers if you go to notifications and add the placeholder for lesson space integration. So what employee and the customer gets the link for that particular uh, space. That is correct. You can check all this in our documentation but the placeholder is simple lesson space URL, which you need to add to uh, to your appointment approved. Appoint or... Yeah, that's right. So just paste it here mm -hmm. and save the notification. And that's similar is... as for our Zoom integration. That's right. That's right. So when when a customer receives the appointment notification email, they see the URL. They when they click on it, it opens up the actual mm -hmm. lesson that is used for online tutoring or whatever you're mm -hmm. using lesson space for one last question does it work for appointments and events both it or? does work for both uh, appointments and in events. the same way in the same way yeah okay thank you very much you're welcome thank you guys for watching i think this this is pretty clear but if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to reach to our support or write to us in the comments uh, also, we have uh, another discount coupon for 20%. Uh, it will be Lesson Space. You will find it uh, in the description of the video below. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. See you. Take care. Bye.